to start with, Russian mathematics uh, in general has a pretty old tradition. Uh, this tradition is not that old uh, as uh, that of ancient Greeks or Arabs, but uh, as uh, and even not as old as the German one. Uh, but uh, 19th century uh, is already uh, marked by well-developed mathematics in Russia, I would say. In particular, there are two names uh, um, everyone remembers. That is uh, Lobachevsky, without whom we do not imagine uh, the development of modern geometry, especially non-Euclidean geometry, and Chebyshev, uh, who is both famous in, in, as an analyst and uh, as a number theorist. Uh, that's for the 19th century. Uh, the 20th century was somewhat tragic in Russia, uh, in Russian history, uh, and uh, marked by the uh, Bolshevik Revolution in 1917, uh, and by lots of turmoils, uh, wars, and uh, other pretty unpleasant events. Uh, as for mathematics, uh, the mathematics suffered as well, but uh, all of a sudden it also profited of the fact. Uh, so somehow uh, there are two things that pushed forward a lot uh, um, mathematics in, in uh, Soviet Union, in Russia. Uh, the first one is totalitarianism, which is in principle is bad for research. Uh, so you may wonder why in this particular case it was good. The answer is that it prevented bright people to go into other domains of human activities. Uh, someone who was bright and decent wouldn't like very much to work um, uh, as a lawyer in the country where there is no law or, or uh, uh, as uh, a politician in a country where, uh, with no democracy. So uh, such people were naturally turned to science. And science in uh, the middle of the 20th century was very well developed in this country. And there was a real boost when this totalitarianism of Stalin regime was changed uh, by um, a thaw, uh, as it is called by some historians. And when the freedom of thought was uh, started to be felt in Russia, it, I'm speaking of 1960s, uh, and uh, that political thaw um, was another boost, another push forward of Russian mathematics. Uh, and uh, if we speak about the 20th uh, century in Russia, uh, there are such figures as Kolmogorov, uh, whom we know in such many domains uh, that I can't even see what part of mathematics he belongs to. Uh, it's enough to mention that it's uh, him who created the probability theory. Uh, one of his brightest students, Israel Gelfand, uh, who is known in functional analysis, in algebra, in algebraic geometry, in, in lots of parts of modern mathematics. Uh, and uh, then uh, the time comes um, when the history for me becomes my own experience. Uh, I started to study mathematics in 1970s, uh, and uh, in, uh, in Moscow there was a flourish of um, different schools and different seminars. Uh, let me mention some names like uh, Arnold uh, Novikov, Manin, whose portrait you see here, uh, uh, Kirillov, uh, and many, many others. Uh, and uh, uh, the centers of study were Moscow State University and the uh, Stiklov Institute for Mathematics of the Academy of Sciences and other institutions. So to give you the impression of the place of Russian mathematics in the world, I can see that in the last 40 years, uh, the highest mathematical award, uh, the Fields Medal, uh, was given to 38 people all over the world. Out of the 38, nine are representatives of the Russian mathematical school. The style of the Russian mathematics uh, was always characterized by 
a freedom of thought, uh, which doesn't mean inaccuracy. Uh, but uh, we usually have very long research seminars here where uh, the speaker can explain not only the theorem he has proved, but also why he did it, what motivated him, and what he's planning to do or further on. Uh, and uh, so um, that's the tradition. Now the modern history. The modern history starts with so-called perestroika, the uh, Gorbachev time, uh, when many things in Russia that were impossible before because of the Soviet regime uh, started to be available. And uh, in, at the very beginning of that period, in 1991, the Independent University of Moscow was created. These are the walls that uh, uh, we are in at this moment, and uh, students of Math in Moscow pro uh, program come to, to study. So it was created in 1991 by a group of professors with new uh, governmental and new financial support. Uh, you may laugh, but at the very beginning, the professors paid for the right to teach the very best uh, Moscow students at the independent university. So this money collected by professors was spent to pay the janitor, the electrician, uh, 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 the electricity, sorry, and um, uh, other unavoidable things. And uh, so to teach here was a pleasure for, for a research mathematician because the university was planned to create, uh, to foster research mathematicians. So uh, it's specific is um, a very sharp pyramid in the sense that um, uh, at the very beginning, some 100 to 200 uh, bright uh, students motivated to do mathematics come here uh, to uh, uh, listen their first course. And after five years, and the, uh, uh, the university distributes uh, the, uh, the master degree, and this master degree uh, is at the average four after, out of that 200. And so you understand that um, not uh, that uh, uh, the university is keen to keep the very best. Uh, the Independent University of Moscow is proud of several things. Uh, the main one is the level of its research and the level of its graduates. Uh, the next uh, one is uh, the All Moscow. Uh, research seminar named Globus. Uh, uh, then we publish this journal you may see here, the Moscow Mathematical Journal, which is the best Russian uh, research journal in mathematics. Uh, we have, and moreover, I'm sitting right now in a, a Russian-French Ponsley laboratory an international unit of CNRS, French National Research Center. Uh, now let us pass to the uh, program you hopefully will be in, uh, the Math in Moscow program. The Math in Moscow program is created to show to you uh, what Russian mathematics is, as well as to teach you as much as we can. Uh, so it is in between of the two traditions. Uh, say uh, one thing which is out of the Russian tradition, but which we all think to be uh, to be a good one, that of the uh, extensive homework you have in, in uh, U.S. universities uh, is kept in this program. Uh, but I would say that with respect to the U.S. universities, uh, the uh, teaching is less formal, and uh, the professors do expect uh, that you are interested in mathematics. So um, somehow uh, you are the center in the sense that uh, you ask questions, you interrupt, you explain to the professor what you do not understand, and which is even more important what is of particular interest to you. The courses here are not uh, formally written beforehand. In many cases, the professor creates the course in front of you. 
the number of students is extremely small and um, a course uh, of two or three students is not an exception. And uh, so when this program started, uh, we had just one student for the first semester. And when I asked him at the end about his impressions, the answer was, uh, I learned here in four months more than in Cornell in four years, which is no wonder because uh, a dozen of professors taught him and he was alone. Uh, now, uh, so uh, the idea would be that you open your mind to a new way of study, uh, that um, you actively work with, with a professor uh, uh, as well as with your tutor and with the uh, students that are near you, uh, and uh, that you love mathematics. So the main thing here to succeed uh, in mathematics, the main thing is motivation. If you want to become a mathematician, you become one. Uh, now, uh, a girl or a boy, a student coming here, uh, may, uh, in many cases, is somewhat afraid uh, to go so far and to study in so uh, such a strange environment. And uh, many ask me, what are the dangers of coming to Moscow? Uh, so my uh, answer here will be uh, just very general. Uh, and uh, let me quote uh, Alice in Wonderland. Uh, who said, or thought rather, that uh, things happen to people all because they wouldn't remember the simple rules their friends had taught them, such as that a red hot poker will burn you if you hold it too long, and that if you cut your finger very deeply with a knife, it usually bleeds, and uh, if you drink much from a bottle marked poison, it's almost certain to disagree with you sooner or later. So, if you are prudent in, uh, enough, Moscow is a pretty calm city. The university is in a historical center. There is lots of mathematics in the program and lots of cultural events, theaters, concerts, and other pleasant things in the city. Uh, so, uh, come, enjoy, and become mathematicians. Thank you.